Check out. Hi, I'm Lisa with G1 NBC Live, and we're here with Kevin Montagano. I've known Kevin for almost 20 years, and his lovely wife, Melissa, who is not here. But Kevin, tell me about the pound. Um, well, we started the pound in uh, 2011, and the uh, idea came to us essentially from going to Buffalo Wild Wings. I was coaching youth football, and uh, we're going in there all the time and speaking to one of the managers. They told me at the time they were the second busiest Buffalo Wild Wings in the nation. So I had an interest in another restaurant and some other businesses and just approached one of my partners and said, you know, we should start a sports bar in downtown Brighton. There's plenty of room for one. And that's kind of how the whole idea of the pound came up. And it's evolved over time, you know, the name and the concept. And that's how we did it. Well, from an outsider looking in, I can tell you this. Um, we, our kids went to school together all through, um, like, fifth grade or sixth grade. And then my kids went to Catholic school. Um, and Kevin and his children continued in Brighton Area Schools. And seeing the support that Brighton Area Schools gave to this wonderful establishment and what he gave back to the schools is like what our family did, which was Brighton Ford and doing the billboard at the high school and the window decorating uh, that they continued to do at the um, elementary level. It was a wonderful feeling in this community. So even though we uh, separated with our kids going to school, we still stayed together as a community. And that's part of what Brighton does. So watching in like 2010, we, we heard rumors about, oh, it's being sold, it's being bought, and here is a location that has never really succeeded. And I apologize to any business that was here before, but they really never succeeded. And watching it build brick by brick, because it, they literally leveled it, they leveled this building, and building it back brick by brick, they created a sports bar which is the only sports bar I can really say is in, in downtown Brighton. If you stand up and you look over the side here, you can see all of Brighton. You can't see that anywhere else. Kudos to you. No, thank you. Now, the, the idea of the rooftop kind of came later on. And once we got into the building, we didn't, obviously, when you get into an old building like this, you don't know what you're getting into. So uh, working with Pete Lindau and Scott Bisker. Oh, uh, you yeah, Associates. Yeah, so Wonderful. Pete was the architect and actually designed this. And, Good uh, job, Pete. Scott Bisker was the builder with Danish Construction. And we kind of came up with this concept of let's try to put a roof on this building and see what we can do. So we took it to Pete, and he designed this uh drawing for us so we were just kind of blown away by the whole thing and we said let's run with it so i um, in a lot of meetings with the city uh, city council and brighton as a whole was uh, very receptive and favorable to the rooftop and you know it turned out very well i mean it's been a big hit for us and a big hit for the community and uh people love it it's uh it doubles our business and you know we're very grateful for that and we're grateful that the city's uh, allowed us to put something like that up here and it's benefited everyone what i love is that um i work over at bradford financial advisors with brian Bradford and I can walk over here at lunchtime and sit outside and you can't see the outside but you can see this outside but there's an outside on the side too and the the doors open and then the inside is kind of outside also hopefully we'll be able to show you that and it feels like Florida it feels like we are on vacation and then coming up here it's amazing. You just have to you have to experience it to really understand it. There's nothing like it in Brighton. There's nothing at all, and there hasn't been. And I'm so happy to hear that Pete Linda did that. I didn't know that. We love Pete. So um, if you're ever in town or even thinking about where can I go, it doesn't matter if you're in Lansing or you're in Birmingham. This is your central location. Downtown Brighton is, and you need to stop in at the pound and either watch a game or experience upstairs or downstairs or outside. We do, you know, we do live music too. We have uh, in the summertime we have live music on the roof on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Just one or two man type of acoustical band. Uh, and then on the weekends, on Friday and Saturday nights downstairs, it is kind of a hot spot for younger people. So we do bring in a DJ and have entertainment down there as well. And the place really gets popping. So. Um, but, yeah, please stop in. We'd love to see you. When I was in my 30s, I went downstairs. <laughs> but then I got a little older, and then downstairs I felt like, yes, that is yeah. for the younger crowd. It's, but it's a great younger crowd. Brighton supports each other. And one thing that we have is we have people that support each other and stay in this town. I have traveled all over, and I'm like, there's nothing like Brighton. There's nothing like this town. There's nothing like our locations. But once again, there's nothing like the pound. You need to come down here, experience the food, experience the aviance, experience the staff. The staff here, wait girls, come over here, come here. 
we're bringing the girls in. Come on, come on. We only have one minute left. Get over here. Come on, Sam. Oh, get Gina, over here. Rocky, get over get here. Up. No, get back here. The girls, we need to bring. Please, come on. You Gina, all look here. amazing. Come on, come on. Good girl. Come on. She's like, I'm going. This is the staff that helps run the pound. Come here, girls. Come here, just, come here. Just keep These the are the girls that help run it's the pound. They're here. Come here, girls. They are here pretty much all the time. You're not in the shot. Come here. You're not you're not in the shot either. <laughs> these are the, I'm going to move because these girls are important. These are our servers and bartenders, um, students, Michigan State student, Michigan State student, uh, nursing school students. So uh, we employ a lot of students all throughout of the community. Uh, we also have a scholarship fund that we set up specifically for these girls that we raise money for them every summer to help them out with their educational costs. So um, if you're thinking about getting a job at a restaurant downtown Brighton, we offer some perks in the way of a scholarship fund. So. And that is so important. I saw that advertised as a scholarship, and I thought, what an amazing thing to do for people that work for you. With, with the years that we have going into who's going to work where and who's going to do what, they have a scholarship fund. You guys need to come out and check out the pound. We'll have given away after this year about fifteen thousand dollars too. Good. So we thank you guys so much. So who won the last scholarship fund? Do you guys have No, the money is evenly distributed. So if they work at the pound for the summer, they carry a three point two GPA and they attend a college or university full time, they qualify for the money. So I think last year we had fourteen recipients and we just did the golf outing a couple weeks ago, so I'm about to divide it up uh, this year, but I think it'll be about the same number. Uh, Mike Corrigan of Corrigan uh, Oil Construction is the event sponsor. Um, so a lot of people throughout the community have given money to that to support these guys as well. Bringing in Mike Corrigan or Tim Corrigan or Bernie Corrigan or Bonnie Corrigan is huge. So we have to absolutely give kudos to them. So any company that can team up to give back to the community is huge. I will tell you this about the Corrigans. I've never once called them and said, can you give to something? Can you help something? Can you do something? And they haven't done it. I've never called Kevin Montagno and said, can you help something? Can you do something? Can you give something? And he hasn't helped. Same thing with Brighton Ford. Can I, can I ask you to give something or, or help in some way or, or give something to the event? They always have. Our community is so tight. It's a beautiful place to visit and a great place to live. And we're so thankful to be here at the Pound today. Cool. Thank you. This is Lisa Spittler with G1 NBC Live, and we are so thankful to have you guys here. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Boom. Good job, girl.